that one is a shadow one, so I don't know. Oh! Dawnflame is gonna be getting the fast move incinerate in the upcoming community day event. But let's see how good Talonflame actually is without that move. I'm gonna be pairing it with Stunfisk on the lead while having Abomasnow in the back. Both Talonflame and Abomasnow are covering pretty well Stunfisk's bad matchups, and both Stunfisk and Abomasnow are pretty stable picks for the current Great League meta. Moves and stats will be on the right side of your screen, so without further ado, let's battle. So here we go, go Stunfisk! A Whiskas, that's not a good one. Return, go Talonflame! And they switch. A Bastodon, damn! That was the worst possible scenario. Quick, use your flame charge! We're getting double super effective damage from their rock throws. That was so unfortunate for our Talonflame. Ugh. Just look at the damage. Hang in their body, damn! Rest well. Stunfisk will avenge you, go! And their charge. A flamethrower. It's still okay, we can definitely farm. We need to get out of our match with energy. So keep attacking. And their charge again. We can take another flamethrower. Here it comes. Uh, hang in there. All right. Now use your rock slide. That won't kill. But let's hope it will leave him with enough HP to farm them down. Ashton is a tanky one. And that still typing is making it even worse for rock type attacks. All right, Stanfisk, you can make it. Keep attacking. Uh, come on! Die already! Nice! Quick, use your Earthquake! Gotcha, Whiskas! If they don't seal, that's gonna hurt! Uh, unfortunately, they did use their seal. But that's gonna make it even easier for our Obama Snow. Go in there! They're keeping their Whiskas in, which indicates that there is something weak to Obama Snow in the back. And that should be a mad bomb. We don't have to seal that. Keep attacking, Obama Snow! All right, uh, another attack. Damn, they're spammy. Another mad bomb. Now, use your weather ball. That should be taking their last shield, right? No, then what do they have in the back? An Altaria. Quick, use your weather ball. We got them, we got them. And their shields are down. But Dragon Breath is slowly tearing us apart. Use your Weather Ball again! No, my Bomber Snow is a shadow one. I assume that's enough to bring them down, right? Let's see there. Whoa, way to go! Good job, and their Whiskas is back. Can we make it another Weather Ball? Come on! Damn! I really need to use my shield sometimes. Anyway, on to our next one. Go Stan Fisk! A Pelipper? Is that one a neutral match? Oh, they swapped out. A Hypno? All right, let's add a little bit and swap out. All right, return, go town fame. I assume that Hypno isn't running Thunder Punch. And they aren't throwing, actually. Which means that one is a Shadow Ball. Let's see there. Yeah, that was a Shadow Ball. Use your Brave Bird now. Hypno users usually don't shield the first attack. But that one is a Shadow one, so I don't know. Oh, good job, Talonflame! Now they're definitely bringing their Pelipper back. Right. All right, let's see there. Let's go for a second Brave Bird. Use it now! Damn! That must be a CMP tie. All right, it's okay. We have two answers for that Pelipper, kind of. Go, Obama Snow! Use your Weather Ball. Damn, another CMP tie. But that can't be a hurricane. And now it's our turn to throw the ball. Abomas Snow, let's go with full power! The seal was expected. Keep attacking! Use your weather ball again! Ice type moves are hitting them for neutral damage, but Abomas Snow hits hard, and Pelipper is quite fragile. Alright, that should make it. Good job, Abomas Snow. Quick return! Go Stanfisk! Use your rock slide! They're definitely shielding that, right? Let's see there. What? They let it pass. All right. Let's go straight for your earthquake. Damn. Now we are forced to use our shield. But we can make it. Keep attacking. Use your earthquake now. Now we need them to think that it's a bait too. Come on. 
Wow! And the lady passed through. Good job, Stanfisk. On to our next one. We'll keep leading with you. Go, Stanfisk! A Porygon 2. Alright, that one got access to Tri Attack recently. Let's see there. Oh, they're ready for an attack already. Alright. Uh, hang in there. Damn, our stats fell. Alright, use your Earthquake! Now, that one is certainly more tanky than its evolution in the Great League. But let's see what they decide to do. Alright, they let it pass. Perfect. Keep attacking. Damn, another one. Hang in there, Stanfisk. Ugh. More stat reduction. Keep attacking. Use your Rock Slide. And that one should be enough to bring them down. But let's see if they decide to seal that one. They did seal that. All right. I didn't expect it. A switch? All right, return. Go, Bama Snow. That's perfect alignment. All right, let's go straight for your energy ball. Ugh. That was expected. We'll seal that one. A sludge wave? Damn, I'm glad we sealed it. All right, in that case, use your weather ball. That's a shadow swampert. That one should be bringing them pretty low. Whoa, it did. All right, good job, Obama Snow. Now? Skarmory, that's bad. Use your weather ball. Now, all of my Pokemon have kind of a good matchup against Skarmory, so that's not a threat. And that weather ball is hitting them for neutral damage. Keep attacking. Use your weather ball again. They're planning to over farm, but that won't help them. Show them above us now. Shields down. Let the game begin. They're planning to farm us down. Quick, use your weather ball again. And that's gonna be enough to bring them down, right? Damn, it is. Good job, Adama Snow. And their power gun is back. And we also got our stun fix charger ready in the back. Now, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out that video on the left side of your screen as well, in which I was using Talonflame with a slightly different team. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like that in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.